Hi again, and welcome to part three in our series, The Household of Faith. Uh, you know, the first session we looked at our mission, which was to serve the Lord. In our second session, we broadly discussed this whole concept of what is a household of faith. And we looked at being in relationship with one another and, um, and all the dynamics of being in a Christian household in the best sense of the word. But I guess up till now, it's still been quite nebulous. And so over the next five weeks, we're going to drill down into the five key values that make up a household of faith. These have not only been anchored on F-A-I-T-N-H, but they also have been anchored on the five-fold ministry uh, that is laid out in the Bible. Today's letter is the letter F, and we're looking at faithful to the mission. You see, if we're looking at how we serve, then one of the ways we need to serve the Lord is faithfully. Now, if I could be honest with you, for a long time, a very long time, I thought the word faithful was a very boring word. I used to think, oh man, faithful, so dull. Instead, what we should be using is the word excellent. I thought if we could only do things excellently, the world would be a better place. But you know what? Nowadays, excellent is a bit of a commodity. We can buy excellent cameras, excellent uh, meals. You can hear excellent singers who hit the pop charts and then disappear after a while. In fact, the longer I live, the more I realize fleeting excellence is not as important as something that is really reliable, something that is really, really faithful. In fact, faithful is the new spectacular. It is so hard to find someone who is faithful nowadays. A faithful husband, a faithful employee, even a faithful boss, or a faithful Christian who stays with his faith right through to the very end. You know, if I were to reflect on what my goal is as a pastor, I think it would be simple, simple. It would just be to be faithful to the calling that God has given me. I wouldn't have to be something spectacular or do something, you know, out of this world. Rather, I just want to faithfully discharge that duty. Uh, in Matthew 25, verse 21, Jesus says it like this, well done, my good and faithful servant. Those are the words that are greeting us when we get up to heaven. The word faithful, uh, I think, could be translated, I guess, as uh, someone who can be trusted or someone who is reliable. Um, and that's what God wants of us. He wants us to be faithful to this mission that He's given us. For me, Pastor Roland is that example of faithfulness. When I was growing up, he was so dogged in his pursuit of the mission of Christ to preach the gospel that he preached the gospel to me. He brought me to the Lord, transformed my entire life. I'm so glad that I've got Pastor Roland as, a, as an example of what a faithful Christ follower is. You know, for us faithful maps onto the evangelist and that's why we've got all this imagery of different cultures and clothes. That, um, so that every time you're in your home and you look at clothes, you think, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be reaching out to the world. We are here to spread the good news. That word euangelion or evangelism um, actually means to spread the good news. But faithfulness is not that easy. And so I'm hoping that as we dig in to faithfulness uh, today, uh, you will grapple with just how rare that word is, just how tough faithful is. Uh, if we could look at um, Luke 22, verse 42. I think Jesus himself gives us a glimpse of what faithful is. Luke 22, verse 42. And this is Jesus and he's approaching the cross, probably the hardest thing that, that he would ever have to face. He knows that he's going to be beaten and he's going to have to suffer. And he says this in verse 42. Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me. I wonder if you can hear how desperate Jesus is at that moment. How close to the limit he is. And every ounce of him is saying, Father, if it's possible, let's not do this. And then he goes, 
Nevertheless, not my will, but yours be done. I think faithfulness requires us to go, God, not my will, but yours. I'm going to do what you want, your mission. I'm going to do your mission, no matter what the cost. And Jesus really painted, I think, a very vivid picture of someone who made faithfulness spectacular. I hope that you would discuss this then in the home group. And I hope you'll find that faithfulness is a noble value to have. So let's put on our clothes um, as we head out to the world. Faithful to God's mission. God bless.